So I just recently saw the film Come to Daddy with Elijah Wood. Um, it was released yesterday, I believe, and I was going to actually drop the review yesterday, but, you know, things got in the way, so I actually wasn't able to release this review on release day like I had planned to, but um, there's a lot to talk about when it comes to this film. So, while Come to Daddy isn't quite as off the rails as it could be, and doesn't honestly change the game up, it's still a fairly original story. Um, if you saw the film Villains, I believe that came out last year, um, and, and enjoyed that one, you would probably enjoy this one to an approachable degree. Um, Elijah Wood, for one thing, is absolutely just fascinating in this film. He absolutely dominates the entire movie, and the writing also is just on, on another level. The writing for this film is definitely very strong, and that's... Pretty impressive considering that the film honestly does have its share of predictable moments, but in saying that, they never quite come off necessarily cliche. Another thing I want to note is the blend of emotions in this film. Um, the horror along with the comedy really does work. Um, at times, the, the comedy is just gut-punching belly laughs and... Uh, this, the horror as well is just honestly worthwhile nail-biting suspense. Um, again, the film doesn't ultimately leave a stinger after the viewing. The film is still overall fucking bonkers though. And while it again doesn't completely knock it out of the park, it still gives you, in the very least, majority of what you both want and even expect while doing a fair share of, you know, adding in just enough to kind of pull the rug under your feet. Overall, I do give Come to Daddy a six so if you aren't aware by now the way that my reviews work is seven to ten is positive with eight nine being great or awesome and ten obviously being must see um with six to four being the mixed review mark and three and under just being negative with zero being pretty much dog shit so this one does get a mixed to positive review for me just because again some of the things just didn't really work as much as they could have but the things that did really work really fucking landed so I will say that for the most part I do recommend this film still but I do not see myself actually picking it up or anything but you know that is worth you know viewing or buying a movie ticket or even you know seeing a couple times there's there's a lot to love about this film, and there's a lot that, again, majority of the movie really got a lot of shit right. I just think that if you liked villains or something like that, like that would probably be your go-to in this kind of film, in a film directed at this kind of sense anyway. But yeah, Come to Daddy was an enjoyable time. I had a lot of fun with it, so go ahead and check it out if you get the chance to. All right, well, thank you for taking the time to check out this review, everybody. Um, I know that this is a little bit late of a review. I, again, did try to release it yesterday, but just straight up didn't have the time to. Um, another thing I want to throw out, this is completely off subject, but Pragmatophobia. We are getting very close to getting this film done, and I have a lot to release over the next couple weeks regarding info about this movie. Um... I will probably honestly drop one more video where I actually do an update based video where pretty much I say everything that's going to be headed your your guys' way. So I'm really excited and I really hope that you guys are as well. Well again, thank you for checking out this video and this has been the review for Come to Daddy. So thank you so much guys. Hope that you guys look forward to more reviews. Uh, drop a, a comment letting me know if there's any reviews for movies coming out that you'd like me to check out. And I'd be happy to do so. Well, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I appreciate the support. Thank you so much, guys.